Hi, this is a new tutorial about uh, interwoven uh, crochet. If you see these uh, patterns here, you might think, oh, I already know how to do that. But if you look closely to the, the stitches, you see that there is something else going on here. And suppose you want to make something like this. You see here that in the center it's light and it goes darker uh, to the borders. And uh, that is what I will uh, teach you in this uh, series of uh, new videos to work in, a, in the round. And I will also show you how you can make these blocks uh, together with the join as you go uh, technique. So let's get started. Um, as you can see here, I have uh, joined the blocks with the join as you go method. And you can see here that the borders have different uh, colors and that is each block is not really defined by the outside border like when you have a single block. So you can see here it has a nice yeah, definition of the outside. Um, if you use the same color of uh, at the outside here I was experimenting with some uh, yarn I'll show it here but um, I was not well I was looking for a certain effect and uh, the color changes were too too large and uh, well you can see it a little bit here it's lighter and it goes darker to the outside but um, well what I wanted to tell you is you see here that both um, sides here are in black and they are crocheted together in black and so you get a very nice uh, definition and here i'm also working on the next block so it can be fun so you can uh, choose that if you have yarn like that um well um making uh blocks like uh, these of course what um, you can use the join as you go method so you can work in small pieces and uh, uh, work them together when you are at the end of the border but another thing is um, that is very nice that you can uh, choose to use back or front and, and combine that because you can see here you know that from interwoven crochet the back can be very pleasing uh, also if you don't have these large pictures with uh, well all kind of stuff going going on but this is just simple and you can choose to do uh, front and back alternately if you want to. So uh, that's a wise, uh, nice, very nice tool. Uh, you can use this for uh, using up uh, your scraps. So, um, well, that is very nice too. And um, <clears throat> some fun thing about this. Um, I will show you the uh, pattern that we will be making. Um, when you do regular interwoven crochet from bottom to top, you always know that you have this color one on the outside. Uh, but when you're working in circles and you have reached uh, a row that you think, wow, that's much better. I like that much uh, better. Uh, you can decide to stop you uh, at the border with color two. So you can do that also. Uh, one advice that I also want to give you that you have to pay attention to if you're looking on the internet for uh, patterns, you have to be careful that you choose a pattern um, that has enough interaction on the sides. I will show you this. You see here that here the, the layers are loose from each other. But there is enough go, uh, going uh, under and over going on. So that's very nice. But suppose you have a pattern that has this all the way loose and you have several blocks and you make them together. That will curl up. So please pay attention to that. 
So that was a short introduction and well, let's get started. And something that I forgot to show you. Um, I wanted to show you already a shawl that I'm uh, making. Uh, with the circular uh, method, we will be making uh, corners and that is what I used here also. This is an L-shaped uh, shawl that I'm working on. So this is a sneak preview and uh, full details of this uh, shawl will be uh, on my website uh, later on uh, when I'm finished uh, with it. So it's still in progress and uh, well, let's get started for real now. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to mention that I have a huge tutorial on my website with a lot of pictures where I use uh, drawings like this to make clear what is happening with the double crochets and how they are uh, placed. And I also use um, these regular uh, crochet uh, symbols so to get started to help you out a bit more to see what is uh, happening. So uh, you can also uh, look there uh, what to do. And uh, well, let's get started with this uh, pattern. And uh, first of all, we will be making this yellow square here. And uh, what is happening with that point here in the middle, you will see that in the next row. But first, uh, let's get started. Um, we will make eight chains. And we will close that in a circle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we will close the circle with a slip stitch. And I will also already do my first uh, double crochet of the next uh, row, so uh, one, two, three, and the uh, chain in between, but you will see that later while it is. So, eight chains, close it with a slip stitch and already make four extra chains for the next row. So, let's get started with the next row if in color one. This is color one and I will also show you how you can um, remember that sim uh, very uh, simple. Oh, <laughs> I started wrong. Um, with this one, we will start with making the magic loop or the magic circle. And you pick the thread up here and we will first do our first double crochet. One two, three, by making three chain stitches. And then um, we will do our corner. And uh, the corners are made of four chains. So one, two, three, four. Then we will make a double crochet into the loop of the magic circle. Let's do that right. And now we have actually made one square. Now we will go to the next corner. One, two, three, four. And then we do a double crochet again in the loop the magic circle. So we have now two squares. Again do the corner one, two, three, four and again a double crochet into that corner and then so you see now we have made three and then we will do our next corner one two three four and 
We will not close it yet because there has something to happen first. But now we can pull on the uh, yarn here to close that circle. And uh, well, this is important because uh, you already know from uh, the regular interwoven crochet that it matters uh, where the other color is placed in all A rows. But here we don't have A and B rows. We have just, yeah, we work in a circular way. And well, I will just show you. Because the directions now say that color 2 has to be placed to the back and these four uh, double crochets, one, two, three, four, has have to be in the back. So we have to place this in front of here. So the double crochets fall in the back and we have to put color two, the yellow, to the back and you will see that in a moment why that is because now we have to close our circle with a slip stitch and we work into the fourth chain one two the third chain third chain and we will do already one two, three, four, which is the first double crochet of the next row and our in-between chain. I know a lot of you use that method to already make that double crochet of the next row, so I will do that too. So now you have this. You see, you have crossed the yellow with the green and um, because next we will work with the yellow and uh, so it's important where that color is in front or at the back and uh, the direction said that this time color 2 has to be in the back so that is uh, what we have done here uh, something uh, to remember oh by the way you see here that dot that was in the middle it's here now so okay let's uh, get uh, started with row two. Uh, we can just go on now with uh, the next row, but first I will show you a little trick because that's sometimes, yeah, it's just helpful. Um, first I will place four stitch markers in each corner. So here is the first corner. So everything is locked down a little bit. Here I place one in the next corner and I take up the yellow and the green. Here, this corner. And here our starting corner with the pink. Now we will be making um, two crochets, uh, two double crochet in each corner. And we start here. We have already closed our circle and we have done our first double crochet and it is at the back. And the directions say that we have to uh, do uh, two double crochets in the back and then a corner. But it also says that color one, which is the green and you can al always remember if you get confused about which is color one and which is color two where the color that here is in the middle is color one so um it says that color one has to be in the back so the green goes to the back so it's already there and then we will do our next double crochet in the back but then we go to the corner here where the orange is so you work in the back like you do with regular interwoven crochet you fold over the green and 
Now we will do our corner. So we do one, two, three, four, and then we will do our second double crochet in this corner where the orange is so we can remove the orange one then we do our in between in between chain and then we will move over to the next corner where the red is and again there has to be a double crochet in the back. So we pick up the chain opening here. We will do a double crochet. And we have done our two double crochets at this side. So we have to do our corner again. One, two, three, four. Then we have to do our second double crochet in this corner here. This space so where the red is so that corner is also finished and we will do our in-between chain well, we can get rid now of the red one then we will go to our next corner and again we have to work in the back You see two double crochets and then a corner one two three four then again work into that same chain space here where the blue is so this corner is finished also and do our in between chain and then we go to the last corner where we started. So we already have one double crochet here. So we will do our next. And again, it is in the back here. And we will make our corner one, two, three, four. Remove that, and um, then it can close this round. And you can see here when we are closing this round, we don't cross the green, so we can just close this with a slip stitch and. We will make four chains already for the next row. So you see that was really helpful to use these uh, these stitch markers so everything uh, keeps uh, keeps in order. So and something that I want to show you here the green always starts in the center of a side. You see here it always is in the center of a side and uh, the yellow one is always just before that so that's kind of an extra check that you have that you don't go wrong so uh, well let's go to row three <laughs> 